Hello everyone, I'm Wei Ling, a diagnostic radiographer from the radiography department in Singapore General Hospital. Today, I'd like to share our innovation of SG Safer, a booth designed for chest radiography of patients with or suspected of COVID-19. In Singapore, chest radiography is the first imaging modality used at triage to identify visible lung infections in patients suspected of COVID-19. Due to the outbreak in the dormitories, Singapore needed to rapidly upscale our screening facilities to cope with the unprecedented surge in numbers. To support this, SGH converted a multi-storey car park building into a COVID-19 screening area and the temporary radiography facility was created on site. This facility comprises of a standard air-conditioned 20-foot container office with a single exit. This is used to house the mobile radiography equipment and the booth. SG Safer is essentially an isolation booth housed within the temporary radiography facility. It was inspired by a photo booth and our SG Safe mobile booth for performing COVID-19 swaps. Polycarbonate was chosen as the material of the booth for its transparency, durability, strength and availability. Our test showed that there was minimal attenuation and that the resultant increase in radiation dose was equivalent to that of computer radiography. The booth is sealed to the single entrance of the container, leading into the booth's enclosed space. This effectively segregates the space inside the booth from the rest of the container. The booth also has another door opening into the interior of the container office, which is designated as a clean area. It allows access to the mobile radiography equipment and the detector which are housed within. Due to the space constraints that come with using a standard container, the detector holder was re-engineered onto a sliding rail system. This allows the radiographer to still adjust the height and orientation of the detector according to the patient's height and habitus. Due to the evolving COVID-19 situation, we have redeployed this unit to our new isolation facility, Ward at Boya. Now, let us watch a video on how this entire setup works. The patients at Ward at Boya are escorted to the radiography facility by a nurse. The healthcare assistant then ushers the patient into the booth. The assistant will place the mobile lead shield in front of the door and move away to the safe zone. She ensures that no one walks into the demarcated area around the container during the procedure. Inside the container, the radiographer turns on the radiation warning light and confirms the identity of the patient. Using the sliding rail system, the radiographer positions the detector according to the patient's height and habitus. Using verbal and visual cues, the radiographer positions the patient and performs beam collimation before going behind the lead shield for image acquisition. Once the image is acquired, the radiation warning light is switched off to signify the end of the procedure. The patient is ushered out of the booth and escorted back to their room by the nurse. The assistant then proceeds to wipe down the internal surfaces of the booth. This workflow was developed by the radiography department with approval from the Institutional Infection, Prevention and Epidemiology Department. The radiation safety limits were also tested and approved by the National Environment Agency, our national regulatory body for radiation safety. As discussed, there is increased safety for staff due to the minimized patient contact and exposure to infectious droplets. With that, there is a reduced risk of cross-contamination between patient, staff and equipment. Due to the reduction in manpower required, there is one less set of PPE used. Without the need for the radiographer to don and off PPE before and after the procedure, the throughput when using SG Safer has also increased. This was done without compromising on the quality of chest radiographs. With that, I've come to the end of my presentation. We hope that this has been valuable to you. The SG Safer team would like to thank RSNA for this opportunity to share our innovation, and we'd like to acknowledge the support from the management at SGH and the Division of Radiological Sciences. Thank you so much for your time.